How's it going, guys? My name is Alex. Good evening. Hoping that you're doing well. And welcome to a short video. I'll be covering everything you need to know about this game. From total beginner to a pro. And uh, if you're really interested in dedicating your free time to this game, of course, there are other games. But this is arguably the best. It is the closest experience to console football uh, when it comes down to playing on mobile devices. You can, of course, try FIFA Mobile, which is a little bit more casual. But the gameplay is not up par uh, with what you can get from this one. This one is a little bit more complicated and I'll be covering the settings, the playstyle, the best way you can spend your coins, best formations you should be using, how to avoid scripting and uh, how overall you should be playing to win games. And I mean, I'm not really a pro, I wasn't really competing, but I've been playing against uh, top 1k opponents. There are a few videos on my channel. I could hold my own, I won some games too. So uh, this is a video that is based off solely my experience. Uh, the game is a little bit dull right now. There's not a lot of events. That's the biggest downside. You need to be prepared to be disappointed a little bit. Without further ado, let's go to uh, best settings. All of them are being located in the extras tab. You go to your settings over here. Uh, we start with graphics because that's the most important part, I would say. Because game isn't running smoothly. You can't really enjoy the game. You can't really play well. So I'm having a solid device. It's not really that new. It's uh, iPad mini 5, I believe. And I can play on high graphics and frame rate 60 frames per second. Like what you need to maintain is high frame rate. You can downgrade your graphics if you want to. Uh, it depends on your device one more time. I mean, and uh, if you feel like your game is lagging, then probably you need to downgrade your graphics. Let's uh, cover the uh, play settings. I switched to, from classic controls to touch and flick. I'm not regretting the change because I can play a little bit more freely. Skill mode is a little bit easier. But at the same time, I made a separate video on why you should be switching. If you want to, you can switch. If you want, you can play on classic control. So that's why I have for the control stash and flick. When directional, when it comes down to directional stick type, I think when you have smaller device, it's better to have it on fixed. Having it on move, then your finger will be covering a lot of the space on the screen. For me, I'm playing on a tablet, so I'm fine with move. Then when it comes down to cursor change, I think the cursor change uh, manual works best for people who want uh, more control over their players. But that is only about the defense when you want to switch to uh, a defender in a scenario where like there is a long ball or you need to cover a zone. You use the manual so that you can fully have control of the player. Movement input range, again, I mean, I made a separate video on settings. You can check this one out. I set it to white because I have much more flexibility when it comes down to uh, turning around with my player with the ball. There we go. This is uh, me covering settings. A lot of people have been requesting that. And I'm making this video just because someone like pointed out that they're like struggling with the uh, game. You are uh, good with settings. It's time to build your team. You can build your team by signing free players, by signing players that Konami is gifting you. But you can also go uh, and pack some players with coins. You could have gotten much more coins for free. Now you're getting only like one or two hundred per week. And you need to kind of like uh, be considered with that. Otherwise, you need to spend money on the game, which I mean, it's fine if you, if you want to. I wouldn't be going that far. And I'm kind of finding it really fun to do this free to play so that you can follow along my journey. Uh, that's what you actually wanted me to do. Uh, you wanted me to do this free to play, so I'm doing this for you. So uh, this is what you do. You go to your game plan, you create a team and uh, the formation and the playstyle that I'm using are different every single time I'm experimenting. It's not like one set formation is good. I noticed that sometimes the game wants you to lose some games, um, yeah, concede goals. And uh, for that, I'm experimenting with formations. I'm using this 4-1-2-3 formation. Sometimes I want to play with a different formation that is uh, for 3 to 1, which is like this 3 formation, which is actually really cool. I think the meta this season is uh, having a lot of players in the midfield and so that you can stop all these 1 to passes, which most, mostly people are building attacks through the middle. Then a uh, very good uh, way to learn how to play this game is to learn passing. I made a video on passing. I'll be linking all the... Uh, useful videos and there is a playlist tutorial playlist on my channel so you can check it out and you can of course uh, check out uh, the stunning uh, tutorial stunning passes tutorial which is very useful when you're playing with fullbacks or uh, wingers who can cross so uh, this is a meta uh, overpowered way that is Konami offering to score goals so you just run down the wing cross the ball have a tall striker, score the header. That is a very easy way if you're struggling to score the goals. I'm not saying that it's definitely like showing that you're a skilled player. Like if you're struggling to score goals, this is the easiest way to do so. Otherwise, try to build triangles. You can build the triangles like this. And this is like 
helping you to create sequences of passes. And you're looking for the gaps in opponent's defense and you can build an attack from the goalkeeper. So this is how I'm playing. I'm not saying that's the best way to play. I'm using uh, skill moves here and there. I made a separate video on skill moves. Skill moves are adding some flair to your play. And sometimes you really, really need skill moves because like people are double pressuring you like there is no tomorrow. Another tip is using a condition players. So Kalami is kind of hinting that if a player has a bad condition, like C condition or even E condition, oftentimes prior to the game, they'll be getting uh, red arrows. It's better to use a blue arrow player or green arrow player over that uh, red or yellow arrow. But when player in an A condition is getting a blue arrow, that means that all of his stats are apparently boosted by up to 12 points. And you kind of feel that this player is executing passes faster, moves on the pitch faster, makes less mistakes, uh, makes better tackles. So that's why uh, every single week, uh, I think they're updating that on Thursdays. I might be wrong though. I'm looking for the players which are in A condition. Uh, even if I'm not playing with these players, I'm having lots of players in my team. I'm looking for those players and I say, oh, okay, so Joao Felix is in A condition. I probably would be better off playing him over Mbappa. Can you imagine that? Mbappa is such a great player in this game, a meta player. But even sometimes it's better to use Joao Felix here. And he can play as a Latin forward too, as a second striker too. Konami is giving you so many ways, like this is the great part about this game, so many people are after this legendary Japan pack, Manchester United pack, which are good, I mean, you would be happy getting one of those players, but it's really difficult if you're doing this for free to play, pretty much impossible, but Konami is giving you so many different ways to send players, so if you go to shop and you go to your football points, you can spend the football points on new featured players, sometimes Konami is giving you legends, and uh, one of them I have reviewed just recently, and then there's Eden Hazard, I claimed him. Some good players over here. And then you need to train them. You need the training points. Also another big aspect of this game. How to train players. Uh, you can uh, rely on Konami helping you with the algorithm and distributing the points. And sometimes you just want a little bit more spice like I did with my Malinowski. I added more kicking power to him so that all of his uh, long shots are being even harder to stop. I don't really care about having overall, like for instance this Sala, I trained more uh, playstyle to here, like you see player details. When you train a player, you also need to keep in mind the playstyle that you'll be using this player in. So I have quick counter 94 and possession game 90, so I can use him in both. The ways that you can spend your coins, of course, is the match pass. Now, this is interesting. I have completed the first match pass and I'm thinking I was considering buying one of the match passes, but I think that I will be not doing that. Well, regardless, you need to make sure that you're checking the rewards and the rewards sometimes are so good. For instance, if I'm, if I'm buying this uh, third level uh, match pass, I'm getting myself 300 coins so essentially the match pass cost me not 500 coins but 200 coins and besides i'm getting so many different training items to train my new players and i'm getting the contract nominating contract items this is a new way that i'm introduced to send players and if you go to your uh, special player list i have signed a few we go to this last a few tabs these are uh, there's a few very good players actually it's hidden here i made a review on uh, all of this that i have claimed and uh, you can sign them for free. So these are overpowered featured players that you can sign and use in your team without really spending coins. Uh, because in the free match pass, you're getting a few of the contracts. Another good way to sign your, uh, yourself a good player is a player Sudwick pack. Now, this is random. You can't get uh, a player that you don't really need. But sometimes you're getting a very good player. I tried this three times, I got myself Pedri, a great pull. I wanted either Pedri or Rodri in this pack or Luke Show, and I've gotten Pedri and he's great. He's great in defense, he can attack. So this is the benefit of having this player is that you don't really need to worry about training and he has compatibility with all playstyle. You can follow me on Instagram, you can uh, watch my videos. Uh, I'm making reviews on players to do packs every Thursday. Other ways, of course, except for logging in, in make sure you log in every day to claim the coins, is playing the events and the events are a little bit uh, difficult. If you are uh, playing the events right on the day that they are being dropped, like Thursdays, usually the events are being updated. A lot of people are playing that and it is extremely competitive. If you are new to the game, you may find yourself struggling to complete those, especially the ones that you don't have players for. For instance, for this English league, uh, because I have so many uh, different uh, English Premier League players, I was uh, capable of building a very solid Premier League team and I'm using this team in the event and I'm uh, feeling pretty comfortable because all of the players are in their respective position, they are all being trained. I don't know, maybe some people would say that these are excuses, they never experienced scripting. I made a few videos on that. You'll be the judge of that, but I would suggest you trying these events a little bit later, not on the day they are being dropped, so that you're not experiencing that much of uh, players who are trying to complete and try hard these events. Other events are good because if you're completing them versus AI, so this is an another nice tip. 
you don't really need to be involved. You set your in the settings over here, match settings. You set player controls to AI controlled. That means that every single time uh, you're starting a game, AI is playing instead of you. And you're only clicking on the like uh, continue, start second half or whatnot, and you do your thing, your stuff. Eventually, you'll be able to grind these events and uh, you complete the um, challenge and uh, collect all the rewards. So there you go. Like the biggest downside of this game is that you can, of course, enjoy like one and three, one and four games. You can really play a really really fun game of football. Uh, you can play with friends as well. They're friendlies. Um, you can play with uh, classic teams as well if you want to against the AI against your friends. Right now, the update is allowing that. But other than that, FIFA is much more superior when it comes down to events. That's why I'm just collecting the rewards there. And just in case FIFA decides to upgrade something, make a better engine. I'll be trying that, but I'm playing this game because it's much superior when it comes down to gameplay. The cards are uh, getting better, the design is getting better. Not all the packs are great value, like this one, Madrid one, it's not really great value. And uh, this has been the video, so I hope uh, you enjoyed this one. If you want some more in-depth tutorials, make sure one more time to check out the playlist. I'll be linking that in the description. If you want me to make a separate video on any different topic, let me know in the comments. Hope this one was useful, and I'll see you next time. Peace!